Hello, and welcome to your hymn introduction video for Sunday, October 17th. We have a selection of hymns this week that may be somewhat lesser known, not new by any means, but maybe a little less commonly sung. All of them are found in our Red Hymnal, Evangelical Lutheran Worship, and all of them are rich both in text and in music. If you don't have a Red Hymnal handy, please go to www.gracepa.org and scroll down just past the first slide to find a tab for this week's bulletin. Here we go. We will start this week with number 833, Oh, that I had a thousand voices. This is a German hymn, first published in 1704. It originally had 15 verses. A lot of themes can get covered in 15 verses. Different hymnal editors over the years have selected different ones to include in their published versions, so this hymn can seem quite different from one hymnal to another. As it stands here with five verses, Paul Westermeyer writes, it is a delightful song of praise from the creation to the creator. I particularly love the image of singing green plants in verse 3, joined by the animals in stanza 4. The music is written in what is called bar form. We've discussed bar form previously, but it is always worth reviewing because it is just so common in so many hymns. Bar form is a musical form that has nothing to do with drinking or with bars, for better or for worse, but simply a form that has three musical phrases. The music of the second phrase is an exact repetition of the first. We sing together hymn 833. Joy, your maker's praise. 
Our hymn of the day is number 659, Will You Let Me Be Your Servant? In this week's Gospel reading, we are told that to follow Jesus is to accept a life of service, not a life of greatness or power. We sing this song to express our desire to be of service to others and to acknowledge that when we do this, true community is created. Somewhat unusually for a hymn, we sing this song to each other, not to God or even necessarily about God. In it, we promise to each other that we will live lives following the teaching and example of Christ. Both the words and the music to this hymn were written by Richard Gillard, a non-professional musician who lives and works in Auckland, New Zealand. Hymn 659. And we will end this week with the short and joyous number 783, Praise and Thanks and Adoration. This is a 17th century text by the Danish hymn writer Thomas Kingo. The music is a dancing 16th century tune, Freudig sehr, also in bar form, which we recognize as the tune for a beloved Advent hymn, Comfort, Comfort, Now My People. We now sing number 783. Three, praise and thanks and adoration. Thank
Have a wonderful week, and I will see you again soon.